What's happening, Reflection? Peace and love, too. Some stuff that I've been working on lately is manifesting. And I'd like to, to share with you some, some tools and techniques that I have uh, come across both through reflections that have taught me this as well as just kind of downloads coming in from spirit. So with this, the first thing that you're gonna want to harness is your focus. Okay, so your focus is where you're gonna really hone in your energy so that you can manifest all that you wanna experience in this life, okay? So imagine if you will, for a moment, that the sun is your consciousness, okay? So the sun is going to represent all, you know, all of your thoughts, all of your emotions, um, your, your senses, all that goodness, okay? So a magnifying glass will represent your mind, okay? So your mind is going to be the lens to which you focus your energy, okay? So you're converging all of that, all the light from the sun, all that energy of your consciousness through your mind and you're focusing, you know, if, if the, the ray is like this, you're focusing the ray into a smaller beam but a more intense beam of energy, okay? So, it might take you a little bit of time to realize that you can put put a piece of paper, some other Kindle material to you know ignite a fire with your with your focus, and that's totally cool. Okay, so when you start to work in this manner, it might not be a sunny day out. There might be clouds that you need to, to clear up in your consciousness to really be able to focus those beams of energy, okay? It might be like a the sun might be out, but it might be like a winter's day where you only got a select portion of time to really harness that energy. And it's not like a, a summer's day where you have very strong solar rays coming in, especially up here in the northern hemisphere, right? If we're in the trop, if you're living in the tropics with your consciousness, hey, you got strong solar rays all the time, you know, and you'll be good to go on manifestation, okay? So, with this, ways that you will be able to train your mind to focus is one way is a point of focus and what I mean by that a, a, a drishti is working with uh, some sacred geometry for an example okay so having a, a sacred geometrical pattern and having a central point in that pattern to focus your mind on to keep yourself locked in with that pattern for as long as you can. It might just be a minute to begin with. Maybe it's not even a minute. That, that's totally cool, you gotta start somewhere. And maybe you can work your way up to where you have the focus to, you know, work with a pattern for an extended period of time, okay? Another way that you can do this is to focus on your breath. One of the best things that you can do is to focus on your breath, okay? So focusing on your breath, A, it's just very healthy to do, <laughs> but B, is it will get you present. Breathing consciously is, will gain, give you more capability to be, to gather conscious experiences. So your breath is what will get you present, and then as you go through experiences, then you will be present, you'll be conscious for those experiences. And that's going to add to that sun, okay? You're adding more energy to your sun, alright? So 
those are just a couple different ways using mantras okay having having like a mala bead so you have that physical contact that physical focus going on and then work with a mantra so you work with the beads all the way around and go back around however many times you want to work with it maybe you work your breath in with the mantra with the mala bead while you're focusing in on a sacred geometrical pattern right so you can layer in the, your mental capacity to focus energy okay so with that when you start to clear the sky up and you you know you don't even have to be you don't even have to be in the tropics with your and you know the in terms of like your solar energy if you can get to that point excellent there's beings on this planet that are in the tropics with their solar energy okay there's but you don't have to be in the tropics right like even physically you don't have to be in the tropics it's just a metaphor okay but when you are more conscious that is when you start to move closer to the tropics because then your your solar energy is very strong your consciousness is very bright you have a higher capability to hold light within your being okay so when you start to if you say you're just like in the nor northern hemisphere and it's winter time out and you're finally starting to move into springtime summertime with your consciousness and you've learned you know how to keep the keep clear skies for your 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 consciousness you know you've you've developed means to which that you don't have crazy downs anymore you don't have these storm clouds moving through and wrecking your focus okay wrecking your 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 ability to focus I should say that so your mind like I said when you train your mind to be able to be present to, to focus in on something and you you know you're you've gotten enough conscious development to where you're like this is you have the aha moment you're like this is what I want to develop there this is what I want to manifest okay then what you do is you start to put that paper on on the ground or the Kindle material on the ground and you use your mind you focus all of your energy through that magnifying glass and start to create a fire okay you need to live and breathe whatever you are trying to manifest write it down make boards about it vision boards about it plan it out notice where another area that you can work on is where you spend time so time is where you spend the time okay you're spending your it's a currency that you're exchanging okay so you when you when you have your focus then pay attention <laughs> Your focus is going to give you a greater ability to, to focus, to converge your consciousness in on something so that you can pay the fee, right? So that you can manifest whatever it is. And in, in doing so, you want to be mindful of where you spend your time. Okay? So spending time you're paying attention to specific areas if you are spending time doing a certain activity that is not where you want to man manifest you need to stop spending time there and start paying attention to what you want to manifest <laughs> It's that it's that simple. It's challenging, but it's that simple. Straight up. So if you want to <laughs> if you want to manifest something, you need to start focusing yourself. Okay? You need to start developing the mental capability to 
converge your consciousness in on one particular thing and start that fire. Okay, and as you have that little bit of Kindle material, you know, get a little embers going in there, then you can add on a little bit more things that you want to manifest because you've got that fire going. You know, deeper desires that may be directly correlated to what you first started that fire with. Usually how it goes. Will you be able, you have that, you know, you have that Kindle material that's like, oh man, you know, like, like, I know one day that I'm going to be doing this, but, you know, I have to take these steps to get to that point. That Kindle material is going to be those steps. Okay, you got to get some traction going before you really start to get a giant bonfire going, all right? <laughs> so, with, you know, just start, at, as you have that, the, the embers going, add a little bit more manifestation to the pile. Okay? Particularly for me, I, kn I knew for a long time that I was going to going to teach. Okay? At first I was like, oh, I'm going to be a, a high school history teacher. <laughs> and then I went through some, some schooling, schooling, right? The, I was like, no, that's, that's not it. And I started to teach yoga. And I was like, this is my, this is my passion. Okay, because I wanted to be able to, to reach people on a different level than, than just history. I, I wanted to teach people about themselves. Okay, that's really what I wanted to do. So I started doing that, and that was my little embers going. Okay, and then as I got comfortable with that, then I started to add in different things. You know, I, added, I started to add in... At, with my yoga teaching, we'll stick with that. And you know, like I'm just giving you this as an example and you take it and run with it wherever you wanna go with whatever you're trying to manifest, okay? But I started teaching yoga and at first it was just like, the, the, the embers that were burning in my pile were like, how do I even just like talk in front of people in this manner, okay? And then it was like, I, I gained the, men I started to be able to focus my energy even more on that pile to get a, a stronger beam of my consciousness in it that I then could focus more on what I was actually communicating okay and you know getting into like Sanskrit with the postures not just like English but speaking the Sanskrit and then it was Okay, now how can I speak deeper to the anatomy? And then from there it was like, okay, well now I have the anatomy down, like now can I like pull in some spiritual stuff, some energetic stuff, some emotional stuff, some mental stuff? How can I build onto that fire? Okay, how can I converge more of my solar energy into a tighter beam of energy to provide, a, you know, a stronger manifestation of who I know I can be in my teaching okay so from there then I was like okay well you know I, I want to move on from there and I started doing some other things you know that like that were still in the flow it was just you know like I was like I can I can put I have a fire going so why not you know bring some stuff from over in the brush over and start building the fire get a bonfire going you know so that's where you know you'll have to take it and listen to your intuition with it um, where you want to go but again you have to have focus your focus is going to give give you the the mental wealth to pay attention to what you really want to manifest Okay, if you're trying to manifest something and you're paying attention to TV too much, if you're paying attention to what other people are, are thinking about you, if you're paying attention to what people want you to be, rather than being who you want to be, you need to recorrect that. You need to 
real real in your focus bring it back to you so that you can manifest what you want to manifest not what other people want you to manifest okay because if you're focused on what other people want to want you to manifest then you're going to manifest what other people want you to manifest And if that's truly in alignment with who you are and where you're going and what you want to do, then that's cool. Okay? Because there's going to be people that are going to come along your path that are in alignment with where you are moving in in terms of your manifestation. And they will hardcore assist you in it because they'll be like, yeah, so-and-so is truly looking to manifest this that the other thing and I know I can help them with this that and the other thing I can provide them more grace more ease and slipping into the flow whatever it is okay and trust the universe and that the universe is on your side okay so the again the you're your consciousness is going to be the driving force, the true driving force on how much you can manifest. Okay, if you're if your solar energy, right, your consciousness if that is at a point that it's nighttime, you're not going to be able to consciously manifest that much. Okay? I mean, try on a full moon, on, a, on the highest capacity of light coming down from the moon, which is really just reflected light from the sun, okay? Um, try starting a fire with a magnifying glass off that, off a full moon. So you, what you'll need to do is to start to gather more conscious experiences so you can get out of nighttime or you know instead of being in the arctic arctic <laughs> in the winter time you start to move a little more south towards the tropics okay and that when you get your consciousness to a point that you're moving in that direction that's when you can really start to manifest like i said earlier you you don't have to your solar conscious energy does not have to be in the tropics to manifest it doesn't it's just when you are in the tropics with your conscious energy then manifestation just boom pops in flows through because you already have such a strong focused energy just as with that s solar energy that anything with the magnifying glass, any focus, anywhere that you <laughs> point your focus, that shit's going to start on fire. This is how it is. Okay? And with that, if you are <laughs> in the tropics with your solar energy, you need to way pay attention to what you're focusing on. Uh, excuse me. Focus on what you're paying attention to. Okay? Because you might... Oh, man. Ah. Uh, you might... <laughs> you might be... You might be... <laughs> you might be paying attention to something that you don't want to manifest, but you're paying attention to it. So that shit's lighting on fire. You're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I got this crazy ass fire over here and I don't want it. <laughs> okay? So if you're on that kind of stuff, man, focus. Get back onto your focus. You know, like get, get the focus back to something that you truly want to pay attention to. Man, I've seen it happen in my own life where I was like, <laughs> I was focused on something, paying attention to something, and, I, and boom, that shit caught on fire. I was like, oh, shoot. 
You know, like, here we go. <laughs> Don't really want this, but here we go. And, you know, it <sighs> caught in flames. Okay? And sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes, as you know, like everything happens for a reason, okay. But if you are, if you're, if you're again, your solar energy is very strong, and you know, you just you need to be, you got, you got to be mindful of where that, where you're pointing that magnifying glass at. Okay, it's got to be mindful with that because it can, it can take you down the rabbit hole. Okay, you might be so focused on something, and you have you have the ability to pay attention to it, right? You have that mental wealth that you can harness your focus and pay attention. You can way pay attention to something where you just you you get consumed by it because you can pay so much attention to it. And soon enough, you're surrounded by things that, you know, aren't really manifesting something that you may want. Again, I've been there. Okay? I've spent, <laughs> I've spent a lot of time focusing and paying attention to certain stuff in, in this life that... I know that they were teaching me a lesson for sure always but at the same time I could have been focusing and paying attention to something else which I've always been interested in right it was just I was spending time doing something else okay an example of that again and you can extrapolate off of this to whatever you want to take it to was I used to smoke a lot of weed not saying that you should or should not smoke weed it's up to you or any drug you know anything anything really is up to you <laughs> but I used to smoke a lot of weed like every day you know so with that, that's where my focus was at. That's where I was paying attention to. What I was paying attention to, that's where I was spending my time. Okay? So all that conscious solar energy was, oh, I want to smoke weed. I want to get high. So that's what I did. Spent a lot of my time doing that spent a lot of my physical federal reserve fiat currency doing that okay where where attention goes energy flows right so I could have Instead of, you know, manifesting smoking weed a lot, I could have redirected my focus, started paying attention to my skill of teaching. I could have paid attention to traveling. Right? And had more experiences that way. Again, not right or wrong, stuff that I had to go through, but, <laughs> you know, hindsight definitely could have redirected that focus, paid attention to something else. And maybe this is a little uh, help for you. Maybe you smoke weed a lot. Maybe you focus and pay attention to a certain thing where you're like, yeah, you know, like, I do do this X, Y, and Z a lot when I really want to be, you know, over here doing, you know, traveling or, you know, uh, developing a skill, doing whatever, spend time 
focus your energy, pay attention to whatever you want to develop. If it's inside you if, you, if you had a calling to do something for a very long time, again, focus on what you've been paying attention to, what you've been spending your time on, and reevaluate. Is this really where I want to pay attention and spend my time? Or should I redirect my focus into another area? Okay. So... Again, develop your consciousness, go through experiences, and then learn, while you're doing that, be conscious for them, and then learn to focus that conscious energy into a tight beam of energy so you can manifest all that you want to experience in this life. It's possible. Yeah, I have faith in you. Yeah, much, much love. Like I said, I just wanted to share you some stuff that has been coming up a lot on my path lately. And I, you know, I hope we're, we're in alignment on some level with that and you're starting to move more into your own manifestation ability and it's a great time to manifest. So um, yeah, if you have any questions on this, um, let me know. Other than that, much love to you and uh, keep tuning in. Peace.